Hello! Welcome! Batman! Quiet! Oh man Shaggy, hello, hello! How are you? I hope you're well, I hope you're well! Rocking their Colombian tunes today! Getting in the mood, getting in the mood! Alright! What are we doing today? We are flying Colombia today in a very old defunct retro airline called Aerosol and they were a cargo Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! Everybody strap in! Hello Batman, hello! I hope your PC is up and running now, it seems it might be so yeah, so this is an old airline that uh, used to exist. I think they only had like one um, DC-6 and this was it. And um, this is the registration, HK1700. You can find it on the internet as well. On the interweb. And um, we are going to be flying from Leticia. Leticia down in the... down on so here we go so this is where we are and uh, that is our route today so we're going to be flying out of Leticia which is in the southern tip of Colombia and we're going to head on over to Peru and then cr fly in Peru a little bit and then back into Colombia up past Bogota, Medellin and down into Cartagena all right, and that is our route today, and uh, hopefully it goes a lot better than uh, what we were doing. Um, okay, let's just fix this one, open my aircraft performance, and this is the A we're flying today. There we are. We have VORs, so we're going to be setting up the flight plan as well but with the VORs. Okay, so let's get GSX running, shall we? And let's see if this works. So let's uh, reload that one. That should be good, right? Yeah, okay. And uh, let's go request boarding. I think. No, it still doesn't work that way. Boarding, requested. boarding is requested. Okay, so let's do this uh we're gonna go avianca all right and this is going to be a cargo flight so we only have there we go cargo door is opening so that is good so let's uh there are no passenger stairs you will not see passengers visually. Yep, there you aren't the passengers. Crew. We're going to board both the... Uh, both. Crew there we go. Coming. Okay! There we go. Alright, let's uh, bring everything up and let's get our... There we are. And let's fetch. So we've got no passengers on this. So let's uh, look at our load. Shall we? So pop that there. What does it want? Open cargo door. Alright. Which cargo door? They're all open. Yeah, they're open. Let's just go and check outside. Yep, yeah, that's open. That's open. And that is open. Alright. So how do they get on there? That'll be interesting. They didn't, uh... Do I need to do anything with the stair? Pilot's boarding starting. Crew boarding starting. Your crew has boarded. Okay, they've boarded. Okay. Um, alright. So, let's go to our fuel and load manager. Okay, so, payload. So fuel is 1243, so let's pop that in. 
the 12 two four three so we get as close as we can to that two four three yep let's go back two four three four three six okay and two four six there we go that should be all right um what do we have now we have payload is two four seven four three oof this is going to be interesting so uh main cargo hold lower cargo hold so let's go let's drop this shall we so if i do that main cargo twenty thousand let's see um twenty thousand twenty thousand there and then this one can be four seven four three in the lower decks four seven four seven forty there okay forty seven fifty that can work all right that is that that is done we've got no passengers what is our uh, gross weight so we're going to do a wet takeoff for this one i reckon okay that is good okay let's see what's happening there all right Good. Okay. So let's have a look at. Uh, let's do our after before start checklist. Uh, there we go. Whoa, blue head is here. F eighteen, mate. F eighteen. Fuel and fluids checked. Pressurization set. That's what we're in today. No, no, I don't have FS to crew. No. So let's get that all sorted out. We've got thunder, I think, today. We've got a bit of thunder. I can see some thunder reflecting off the uh, tail, the, the fin there. There we go. Removed. Three on board. Seat belts and pedals. So we're in the cargo variant today. Oh, I can hear the thunder. Set to idle. Propellers. Forward and three. I can hear the thunder. Before start checking. There's a bit of a storm there. We can see some lightning there. Okay, we're ready for engine start, but we've got to wait for these guys to finish. Oh yeah, thrust vector in the port. You could join me in the um, in the DC three. <laughs> wow! Look at that. We're full. 
It's full. Oh yeah. If you if you can handle the DC six, yeah, why not? Look at that. It's completely full. There we go. They're all good. Crew boarded. Everything is good. It is, isn't it? And it's bare metal today. Just bare metal. So gorgeous, man. Listen, I can hear the thunder as well. Okay, he's got one more there. So we've got a bit of thunder over here, I think. That's nice. So we're waiting for them to finish up and then we can do um baggage is also in progress boarding is complete i wonder if we can do pushback and departure on this thing can we do pushback do we have a pushback truck around there we do we can let's use the pushback truck shall we okay it's all clear all right let's uh, start up the engine shall we we're going to start up engines all right so all of that is done we've got there we go auto rich set so engine selector okay boost pump is done and here we go Listen to the thunder. Where is that thunder? Right in there, that cloud there. Oof. Okay, let's start her up. And boost pump is done. Okay, okay, okay. Starting her up. Beautiful, look at it, look at it. Oh, and I got the yellow, look at that. Okay, there we go. And that is pumped up, there we go, that's good. All right, let's do uh, that one there. So that is engine two. Engine two, so there, and boost pump. Oops. On. There we go. And. There we go. I wonder, can we get pushed back in now? Actually, maybe we should do that. I wonder if it will let us do it now. <laughs> uh, let's go. We want to go nose to the right. Let's see if that does it. Push back. The yeah, thought so. That's all right. We'll just reverse ourselves. Okay. Forgot about that. Okay, let's go engine four. Engine four, there we go, boost pump and three, six, five, twelve. So we're taking off runway zero three today. I don't know if blue head is coming in, is he? Okay. There 
there we go and the last engine engine one there we go and drop that and start There we are, that's perfect. <coughs> Good. Let's just check the ramp manager, everything is closed, okay, ground power unit still connected. That's it. Vapor Blast, hello mate, how are you, how are you? I hope you are well. Okay, after start. Thank you for the follow. Ooh, I've got to update that now. Here we are. Not yet. Okay. There we are. After start. Start selecting bus bumps. Off and off. Battery switch. Okay, good. Now we can do our taxi. That's good. Oh, why do I have that set up as that? I don't want that. I want uh, options. I don't want the GPS. There we go. There and there. Let's go up here. What is our first localizer? Let's have a look. So we are going to IQT which is 11650 so let's pop that in 11650 and then we're going to go to PLG which is 11280 so we'll set that to standby 11280 all right So we have nothing on the ground yet. We're going to have to take off first and we're going to head uh, west. Okay. That is good. All right. Oh, that was a bit of lightning there. You saw that? Okay. Let's uh, reverse parking brakes release. And let's reverse. There we go. Okay. Who's that? That's got a blue head. What is he in? An F twenty two again. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. Let's uh, set our Q&A, shall we? There we are. And uh, let's take uh, the taxi. Okay, you're going to have to take off and uh, circle around, Bluehead. Okay, let's go.
And there's blue hair taking off right now. Can we do this? Can we uh, listen to the sounds? Let's listen to the sounds. There. Windows open. Let's listen to that sound. Windows open. Okay. Just remind me to switch the window, uh, close the window. Okay, we're going to backtrack. And there he is. Okay, before takeoff. First pumps. First pump. <laughs> no, I'm not Fabio's twin brother. <laughs> I, can see, I know, I can see why you would think so. Look at that, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Lilo, hello. How are you? I hope you're well. On. And who's Lilo that over on. there? That's a uh, Mogpot. Okay. Sit. Transponder. On. Lilo, hello. Okay. Let's close this window, shall we? There we are. Okay, before takeoff. All right, we're going to take off wet today. So the difference is when you're very heavy, you take off wet, so you get water injectors. All right. Um, let's just set this up so this looks like it's beautiful. Lovely uh, slope of the runway. There we go. Okay. And there is uh, Blue here doing some uh, 3D aerobatics there. Okay. Okay, I'm rolling. Here we go. Take off what? Water injection. Thirty inches stabilized. We got flaps down. Yes, we do. Okay, we're watching that knee. Those needles go up thirty inches, and it will stabilize. Thirty inches stabilized. Count. Count flaps set. Full power, please. Full power, we release the brakes at 40. Coombsy, thank you for the follow. And releasing the brakes. Uh, 
Okay. Weather man, let's use the runway. Let's use the runway. We pay for it. We pay for it. One twenty. Okay, and rotate. Gear up. Okay, let's just climb. Thousand feet per minute, that's okay. Thousand feet per minute. Okay, let's increase our climb. Okay. Meter power set. Climb power. City climb power. Okay, we are good. We won't engage the um, gyro pilot just yet. So we got a flight level of 20,000 feet today. Oh, look at that over there, eh? Let's get through that gap there. Let's go through that gap there. So we can see some stuff. Okay, let's go. Yeah, all right. Let's uh, pop that on. Engage. There we are. And let's keep our. There we go. Got the gyro pilot on. We're going to just keep a steady 1,000 feet. There we are. We are good. Okay. <coughs> and there's Blue Head in the F-22. I've got to get. I've got to get the F-22 just because of him. <laughs> there we are. Let's get up to twenty thousand feet. There we go, a little bit of climb. Uh, we want to be at least a thousand, so let's give it a bit more climb. Okay, we should see, we're actually heading in the right direction for the VOR. So we should pick that up any minutes, uh, pretty soon. That VOR is 150 nautical miles, so... <laughs> F-22, just so you can appear as an F-22. I saw those pictures yesterday. I mean, they were stunning. Especially the bottom one just looked so awesome. With the uh, marshaller crossing the uh, the battens, you know. That was just so nice. There we are. Ah, we're doing okay, much better than last time, yeah, much better than yesterday. 
Okay, I must admit, I watched one tutorial, okay, and it all came flooding back. <laughs> okay, 6,000 feet, we want to be at 20,000, so let's uh, increase that a bit more. 1,000 feet a minute, that'll do. So we're flying VOR to VOR, we're heading to one, uh, oh sorry, no, we are not, we are heading to IQT, so IQT, yeah, 11650, so that's already in, so we are good. And we're waiting for that to populate, those needles haven't moved yet, so we haven't picked up the VOR yet, but we do know we're in the right direction, so there's no issue there. We should be at 2... yeah, well we should be at 204, but we're in the general direction. We can... let's go a little bit. Why don't I have that engaged? The autopilot's engaged. Uh, we are there. Really? Wow. But let's uh, switch that off. Engage that. And switch that on. Should give us. Okay, that, uh, that, that, and the clutch is on. Oh, and it all begins again, doesn't it? That is on, that is on. And localizer, bang. Okay. Wow, there's nothing else that needs to be done, be done here. Let's try this. That shouldn't work. Right. So switch that there. Switch that on. Then that should work. Set cruise power, Let's do that. Okay, nine, what are we at? 8,000, 9,000 feet. And that is correct. So if I drop, that's working. And lock that. We are locked. That should work. And that would not work. Drop that down again. Put that into gyro pilot on. 
engage. Really? Interesting. Oh, it was working yesterday. Okay, let's just get up there. <clears throat> We're heading to 20,000 feet. Clutch is off. That won't work. On, clutch is on. Hmm. That is good. Moderate stress on oh, last point. Okay, that'll do. I'll figure that out. If we have to fly by hand, we'll fly by hand. Where is my escort? Up oh, there he is. But what happens if I do that? Nothing. happens there see that won't allow me to do anything until I do that and then there and that's no good engage there we are get rid of that Clutch off, clutch on. Wow, why doesn't it want to move? I don't know what's going on here. Okay, no problem, no problem. We'll fly and navigate, no problem. Let me just check something here. Interesting. Oh, 
Okay, let's uh, fire that way. Yes, it is. It is a beautiful plane. There we are, 11,000 feet. Uh, no, no, I enjoy Latin music, but uh, this is because we're flying Colombia today. So we're heading up to 20,000 feet today. <coughs> right, let's see if we can get this damn thing to work. Okay, so that is autopilot is off. Engage the gyro. Engage the clutch. Why doesn't it want to move? Are there any bugs with this damn thing? worked yesterday after a long, long uh, fight with it. Right, let's try something here. So, let's do this. Let's see if this works. Um, pop this one here. And let's just try something here. Just, I want to test. Okay. There. Enter, enter. Okay, acquire that. So we're going to go SKLT. Now we're going to fly direct. The IQT. Yeah, role play, yeah. <laughs> Okay, flight plan. Let's go. Uh, IQT. Is that an I? Yeah, that's an I. Okay, push. Uh, I. Oh no, we'll go SKLT. SK. SK. L T Okay, and enter and then we're gonna go IQT Okay, Q T There we go, and enter Peru, correct. All right, and then let's see what that does. If I go localizer. Um, 
What's the next one? PLG. I did that. Then flip to localizer and back. All right, I'm going to try that. So let's do that. Let's just go down. Press silver button to center. So that's what I've done. Silver button to center. Turn the no to center the turn knob. Then flip localizer. Back. Okay. And then it should start working. Wow, really? Seriously, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've tried it. Wow. Wow, I don't need this crap then. I hate GPS. There we go. Okay. It's a bug in the cargo version. Now you tell me. Now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, that's it. That's what I want. And we are working. That is, press the silver. I'm going to copy that and bloody paste that in a, in a notepad. <laughs> there we go. Paste. Uh, save as desktop. DC6 cargo. There we go. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I have, it's actually the first time I've flown the cargo in like over a year. Yeah, when in localized mode, do not turn the button. Yeah, it will disengage. That I, that I do understand. Okay, we should pick up the, um, let's just uh, line up with our, there we are. And that is good. Okay, so we're aiming for 20,000 feet. So let's uh, keep going up. It's spectacular in South America, isn't it? Some of the scenery. Is he around? There he is. There's a blue head. In an F to F22. <laughs> but you think they would have fixed this bug? I mean, how many updates? I mean, okay, I updated it. It's like 4.46 now. Yeah, I'm going too. I'm going too slow for him. That's the problem. He's flying on the thr vector thrust. <laughs> I'm climbing. Uh, no, I'm not climbing anymore. Oh, I'm still climbing, or no? Why do I have such an angle of attack? I should be having a lot more power. Let's see. Cruise, yeah. I got flapped up. Why is my angle of attack? Let's uh, level out and see what that does. Oh, wow. There's got to be something wrong here. Okay, now I don't have any up or down. Okay, I do, I do. There we go. Okay, let's go up. And back. Okay, look at my angle of attack. Why is my speed so low?
Now if I level out here, I should see an increase in speed, but I don't. Let's see if I increase in speed. Oh yeah, I'm fully loaded. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am fully, almost fully loaded. There we go. I am like... Um, well, not that much, actually, to be, weird, to be fair. 24,000 cargo. Not bad. Not so bad. Let's just go up to 13,000, shall we? There. Okay, let's bring that and let's go to 13,000. That's where we're going to stay. Yeah, I got a bit greedy with some of the cargo. <laughs> We've only got one pilot. Oh, we've got two crew on board. That's it. There we are. Let's bring that down and 13,000 feet. Okay. That's better. We can see the scenery better. Okay. I've got to uh, line up my VOR there. Go right there. Let's bring that round. There we are. Okay, good. So we are on our way to our first VOR, IQT, which is 130, 123 nautical miles away. We should be there in 37 minutes. I still love this plane. I mean, I do love this plane. I reckon a blue hair can get there and back and I'll be still not even halfway. miles away. So as some of you know, you can uh, pop in your song requests, um, exclamation SR and the name of your song, and um, we will play it for you. Or at least that's the plan. Another trick with the DC-6 is that the CG must be adjusted in, in the MSFS if the cargo is a load. So you mean in uh, in here, in there? Oh shit! Look at that. Ah, look at that. So this needs to be over there, right? So you mean it should be sort of brought back like that? Just set it within the forward limit, okay? There. There we go. Okay, now my speed is up. 
Now my speed is up. There, my speed is climbing. We're going down, so I want to go back up. So let's go up to 20. Let's just go up. Gentle climb up. There we are. Well, see, I mean, I've not, I've not flown it in a year, and it's so good that people in the chat, I mean, they know much more than I do. Um, but this comes with experience, doesn't it, I guess? Now my ground, yeah, my speed is up. It's not 120 anymore. And that is perfect. Thank you, Spider. Only on the car. Yeah, I had none of this problem yesterday in the passenger plane. In the passenger variant. But didn't they just have like... I mean, I just updated it last week. you think they would know and fix the damn thing already. blue head I'm trying to go as fast as I can okay we'll just level out at 14,000 all right there we go and level out 14,000 feet bang we're sticking at 14,000 feet Okay, and I'm doing now 230 knots ground speed. Apparently, can't be right. I'm doing, uh, my airspeed is 170, 80, 90. So 175 my airspeed. You fly it, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a cargo plane. <laughs> oh, I had the big old loaders come in with GSX. <laughs> You're still... <laughs> Brilliant. I do wish that was an F-22. I mean, the pictures... I'll show the pictures. I'm going to show off the pictures, okay? So this was us yesterday in the passenger variant. Um, so that was us in the uh, SAS passenger variant when we landed. Uh, actually, let's just open that in the browser. So that was us yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful flight. And then he is, so Bluehead is in that. So he's actually following in the F-22. Oh, very, very nice. And um, that was us again. But I don't know what he's seeing, because there's another one there. Look at that. How nice is that? So nice. So where are we right now? We are currently right there. We're heading to this uh, VOR. And then the following VOR is POG. That is a 150 nautical mile. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to turn to a heading of three, around three, four, five. But yeah, that is us. And there's the mighty Amazon over there.
I'm starting to fall in love with it again. I mean, it is spectacular. Once you've figured it out, and you're not in a hurry, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like my airliners, and this is was an airliner, a medium airliner back in the day. Uh, but it's always good. Sometimes it's just good to get out and and go back to steam gauges. That's why I like the A310 as well. I like the A310 quite a lot. I do not own the MD-80, but I'm sure, I don't know, it just doesn't impress me, the MD-80. The A310 is a beautiful aircraft, I love this aircraft, and I do like the 737 as well. I have the Phoenix, but I don't fly it so much. That's right, Everts Cargo. I was watching uh, a video yesterday um, where they're taking off from um, Anchorage. And very strange the way they start it. So, so he does the whole starting sequence. He goes to 12. And then he goes 13, 14, 15, 16. And then turns the fuel switch to both. I noticed that yesterday. Uh, very different from what we do so it seemed that he turns this one after 12 he goes 13 14 15 16 and then spins this one while he's got his four fingers he's got his four fingers like that and the thumb there so he goes like that like that like that and boom correct yeah we are limited to yeah we are, unless i've got yeah, if I if I own FS to crew, I don't know, or whatever, or or your controls, maybe that would work. I don't know, but yeah, but it's in interesting the way they've done that. I did, it, I liked it. It does look rather uncomfortable though. It's not the prettiest cockpit to sit in. The guy here does a lot. The guy in this seat here, he does a lot. He's controlling that entire center console including the throttles and everything, he's taking care of it. So it's three people in this in this aircraft at any time. He's got a lot to do, the, the flight engineer I guess he is. Barrel roll, barrel roll, blue head. There he goes. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> awesome. He's uh, he was escorting me yesterday as well. All the way to, um, where did we go? Damn, I can't remember. Ah, some, ah, or, or bro, or bro in Sweden. But it is nice scenery. Look at that, it's just forest, man. I mean, if something crash landed here, you wouldn't find it for ages. So what's the weather look like? So, so we've just started so our weather is uh, pretty much over here actually
Now I could take a shortcut, but that's what defeats the whole purpose. Can you open the window when the thing is flying? Let's have a look. No, no window open. So we're doing good. We are perfectly on the needle there, the VOR. 14,000 feet. And we are good. Look at that. Perfect. 67 and a half nautical miles. Yeah I, yeah, I saw the tutorial yesterday um, um, from PMDG about that. Yeah, so basically I'll, I'll tune in my localizer frequency here, uh, go for the glide slope, and then hit approach, this one here. Uh, and the blue light will come on when I'm in approach mode. And then I will look here. I will look here and then I will see the glide slope come in there. Uh, this is a DC-6 my friend. A DC-6. From PMDG. And uh, the aircraft on our right is supposed to be an F-22. <laughs> but I don't have the F-22 so the model matching sucks. But there we go. <laughs> but it is beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful aircraft. And we are flying the uh, Aerosol livery today, which was an old uh, Colombian uh, cargo carrier. Um, which doesn't exist anymore, but this is the actual livery and registration of that aircraft. Hotel Kilo 1700. Yeah, I don't think anyone has, mate. And I only thought it was the Russians that did that in their Sukhois or whatever. We got a bit of thunder, I think, somewhere. I did see a lightning strike. Yeah. Now we got some lightning somewhere around here. Actually, we can see that on Windy. Let's go to Windy, shall we? And let's go to where we are on uh, windy where are we we are down here so we're around here somewhere so we should see rain and thunder so we got some thunder thunder around here we are actually flying over here into peru so we're around there
So yeah, uh, let's see, wind. Wind is all right, it's not so bad. Quite light. Okay, 46 and a bit. Matt, hello. Hello, how are you? I hope you're well. Hope you're well. Can I see you streaming just now or earlier today? Oh no, that was Motley, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, watching the Bahrain Grand Prix. Sort of nearly over, isn't it? I did want to watch it, but then I also wanted to. Oh man, don't tell me that Dutch bloke's going to win it again. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> oh, oh, Verstappen, please. No, he needs to be slapped. I've actually, I used, I, I actually used to. I mean, I loved watching Formula One. I love watching Formula One. But you know what? It's like every time you watch it, it's like a rerun. No, that's uh, blue haired. That's not buffalo, that's blue haired. Wow, we got caught up in clouds all of a sudden. Look at that. I tell you though, touch wood, the sim is running very smoothly. Yeah, this is uh, disappointing. Um, yeah, that's why, honestly, I mean, I've stopped watching the Formula One. I prefer watching cricket. <laughs> you know, it's just a bloody rerun all the time on Formula One, man. Yeah, I am preferring the cricket. And then when, you know, the Formula One comes here to Silverstone, we all go, right, you know, we hope uh, Silverstone, Hamilton's going to bloody show us how it's done. And then he cries like a little baby when his car doesn't work. You know, I don't know, there's that saying, my dad always used to say to me that um, a bad workman always blames his tools. <laughs> really, DC6? Okay, hold on a second. I want to see if I can find that. DC6 ILS landing brochure. Mm. 
No. Can't find it. Wow, here's a good one though. There we go, look at that. Here, hold on a sec. So this is a brochure for the uh, what what's doing at what's doing at Douglas. Add the millions in all these cities and you'll see how many people have flown by DC six. Um, almost 34 million people have flown by Douglas DC-6 and DC-6B. These giant 300 mile an hour airliners are the two to one choice of experienced air travelers. As shown in a nationwide survey, you can fly completely around the world by a DC-6 and hundreds do. Uh, let's see. The new Douglas jet bomber is faster. Okay, that's the bomber there. Queen of the fleet on these leading airlines. Alitalia American, BCPA, Banif, Flying Tiger, Philippines Airline, SAS. Let's see what other ones. Um, what's this? This is a cutaway brochure. That's small. Um, a marketing flyer. Oh, let's go. Marketing flyer. Marketing aircraft flyers. DC 6. It's a Douglas. Wow, some of these are so good. So basically, I have put, uh, let's say marketing flyer. Maybe it wasn't called brochure in those days. Um, marketing, marketing flyer. Oh, they're all quite small, unfortunately. Uh, DC-6. Yeah, not much there. Leo, hello, welcome aboard. We're in the uh, DC-6. We're just looking for some... Uh, marketing uh, or poster let's see poster yeah nothing uh, there that talks about advertising product flyer dc6 let's see dc6 no not really That'd be nice to look at. If it was a decent quality, I'd print it out and then hang it on my wall. Yeah, no. <coughs> yep, we're on the um, West Europe server. 
and we're flying through cloud at the moment got blue head over there <coughs> and actually we should have already passed it have we oh we're about to pass it 4.5 nautical miles okay let's start turning we want to go three four five There we go. And this is over a little town called Ikitos. There we are. We can stay here like that. We're good for now. What is that? Three, four, five is where we want to be. We'll get there in a minute. <coughs> Look at that man, the scenery is just spectacular. That is the town called Iquito, Iquitos, Iquitos in Peru. So we're currently in Peru and now we're going to be heading back towards um, back towards Colombia. Let's just turn a little bit more. There we go. There we are, we are good. A little bit too much there. Let's go back a bit. There we are, we are good there. Okay. And I think my fly live is messed around. There we are, perfect heading, 3.46. We should be at 3.45, we're okay. And there's my uh, blue head there. So we're heading now back up to the uh, Colombian border on our way to Cartagena. Can we get over these clouds? Let's go up another thousand, shall we? We'll go up another thousand to fifteen. There we go. And up. There we go. Let's go to fifteen. There we are, that's good. <coughs> there we are. So we're heading up to 15,000 feet just to get up a bit above these clouds. Well, I'll give it to uh, Bluehead. He's hand flying that thing for sure. All the way. <laughs> Fourteen and a half thousand feet. And let's change it. Two, one, two, two, one, twelve, eighty. There we go. So now we've got no um, VOR needle. In fact, let's just pop that one to one one six. So we got that one behind us. One one six fifty. 
and V2 will appear behind us now. There we go. <laughs> yeah, probably not. There we are, approaching 15,000 feet. Sunhawk, hello! How are you? You sent me a link. Where did you send me a link? Ah, yeah, got it. What are these? Are you kidding, right? Wow! So that's what he sent. So this is a flyer, United Airlines. Uh, let's uh, zoom in, shall we? No, sorry, that's not zoom, is it? Uh, where's the zoom? There's the zoom. So, call United first. There's the DC-6. How electronic runways in the sky aid United Airlines dependabilities. Okay, we're at 15,000 feet. ILS, unbelievable. ILS works this way. Oh, sorry. The ILS works this way. An electronic glide slope beam slants up from the runway at the correct angle for descent. A localizer beam transmitted into the approach area marks center line of runway. Vertical radio markers on the approach course flash signals in the cockpit point pinpointing distance from end of runway. <laughs> oh, what is this? Your captain has approached on ILS with the ease and sureness of clear weather flying. Incredible. Still miles away from the airport, your main liner flies above a cloud level, a cloud layer that obscures vision below. A few years ago, this condition might have closed the airport to all traffic. Today your landing will be routine on ILS, an electronic runway that leads through the clouds to the airport. Brilliant. Uh, can I put that link in the chat? Do you, do you mind that spider? Because I'm sure that people would be very interested in that. You, you can all, I mean, I don't mind people putting links in uh, the chat as long as they ask uh, and I'm very happy with that yeah so no problem at all yeah I'm just going to put the link in uh, paste uh, there it is for anyone who is interested okay let's just go back to that shall we uh, let's go back to that we're on course are we we're all good yep ILS needle is good everything is good let's go back Okay, let's go to the next page, shall we? Oh shit. What is that? What is this? Okay, does it tell us if these are... What was the first ILS uh, runway ever built? I wonder what that is. Complete the schedule. These are schedules. Eastbound. Okay. I wonder if these numbers still exist. 60443. 555. Five, five. <laughs> 
Okay, let's go to the next one, shall we? Go back. Is this the same thing? All of that? Yeah, that's the same thing. So that's the whole PDF. It's so good on the yeah but go to the root I am on the root the root okay r-o-u-t-e right root r-o-u-t-e first ILS was Berlin really made by Siemens was it Okay, here's the route, I guess. The route page. What's the route page? Route page. Complete. Oh, this is a really nice site, man. Okay, SAS. And there you go, there's the uh, DC-6. Ooh, 8th of August. 1948. There's all the routes and the uh, DC-6, I guess. For Scandinavian? No, that can't be, surely. Let's have a look at <clears throat> Orion. Airline baggage labels. Wow, here's the baggage labels. <laughs> They're so cool, aren't they? Old baggage labels. Imagine having a suitcase covered in all of this stuff. They must have been sticky, right? They were sticky labels. Brilliant. 
Okay, so a list of airlines. Let's see, hold on, where did we go? That was there. TT images. So let's have a look. What is that? TT images. Complete. No. So this was complete. Okay. Complete. And then let's look at. So then what am I looking for here? Let's have a look. Sabina Air France, they had, right? Let's have a look at that. Oh no, so they had, what's this one? That's Algeria, or what? Marseille, Algeria, okay, Lyon, Toulouse. Wow. Let's see. South African Airways. Let's have a look at South African Airways. What was that plane? That's the Yonker or something. Oh, that's interesting. Tickets for children. Children under the age of three years traveling in the care of other passengers and when no separate seat is required for them are conveyed free. If a seat is required for such children, they will be conveyed at half the ordinary fare. interesting i'm going to have a look at that site in detail there's got to be some stuff i can actually print up and frame that's going to look really nice Okay, so we are good, actually. We're at 15,000 feet now, and we are still heading in the direction of our BOR, but we're still out of range of the BOR. Uh, we'll only come into range 150 nautical miles from the BOR. You use it to find real routes. Ah. Our heading is good. Yep. All of that is looking very nice. Yeah, no, for sure. So that is looking good. Yeah, we are good. The other one is behind us. We're waiting for that needle to spin round. And we should be good. Yeah, I try and do. So what I do with it is I just Google. So when I'm flying a tube liner, for example, of course, there are many more recent things available. 
So I Google the ICAO codes of both airports and the airline and go flights today. And then it comes up with the flight number and uh, and then I use that route. You know, so yeah, uh, when I'm doing that on Vatsim. So I'm normally on Vatsim, but I am not doing this on Vatsim because I'm still getting used to this plane. And there we go, we've picked it up. 150 nautical miles to the VOR and we've got it that's really good we're just a little bit off so let's just go a little bit there and we are good there we are aviators tv hello welcome aboard thank you for the raid let's go raiding with a party of five welcome raiders how are you i hope you're all well we are going pretty much low and slow today we're in the uh beautiful oops we're in the uh, beautiful DC-6 today in a very retro livery, Aerosol Columbia. And we are flying Columbia. And we are being escorted as well with, uh, actually that's an F-22, <laughs> courtesy of Bluehead. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the F-22. Uh, I will get it one day because now I know he likes to fly the F-22 and I'd like to, I'd like to see um, actually, I think there is a free version of the F-22, if I'm not mistaken. One second. Uh, F-22. Is there? Oh, yeah, there is. There's a freeware. I will install the, install the freeware next time um, on Flysig.to. Uh, I hope it's still there. Or it hasn't moved over to... Um, a text file. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, is he still there? Is it still there? I don't know. Yeah, the top Mac Studios. You'll find the premium, but I should still have the model Mac, right? It should still. I'm downloading it anyway. And, uh, oh, yeah. I'm downloading it anyway. So next flight, we can uh, have an F-22. There we go. That's right, I remember reading about the F-22 yesterday and it had a free. So yeah, we are in there and we are heading to, where are we? We are, we are currently medical, medical supplies, pharmaceuticals, that's what it could. <laughs> Uh, that's where we are right now, so we are still in Peru, we took off in Colombia, southern part of Colombia, headed into Peru, then we took a right turn, and now we're heading back towards the Colombian border, and we're on our way to Cartagena, in Colombia, right on the coast, right there. And we are carrying very, very uh, expensive pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Spider, thank you. Thank you for the follow, mate. So, yeah, we are bang on our VOR. That's good. 136 nautical miles. And remember, you can populate the queue of music if you want. Exclamation SR and the name of your song. And we will do our best to get the DJ over there, over there, to play it. Yeah, DJ Gadget sitting over there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, <laughs> I did use the DJ back in the day. <laughs> How are we doing on fuel? We are okay with fuel, right? Yeah, we're good with fuel. Ooh, that's okay. Yep, we're good with fuel. But yesterday, I did a lovely, lovely, beautiful landing. It was beautiful landing.
Yeah, no problem. I would extend a little hose pipe at the rear of my plane, but I don't know where you'd stick it. <laughs> There we go. In-flight refueling. I mean, I've seen, I have had a look at this in-flight re in refueling on DCS. I mean, that is bloody awesome, isn't it? I mean, I've got one whole... Um, terabyte hard disk which is sitting uh, SSD sitting on my on my system which is completely empty I'm seriously thinking about DCS I'm seriously thinking about DCS I did install it a while back um, but I don't know why, why I uninstalled it but I'm thinking now I understand you can try the planes for like two weeks all of them any of them for two weeks or you can try for two weeks before you buy so I'm thinking that's not a bad deal. And the learning curve on some of these aircraft is really, really long. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking of giving that a go. The in-flight refueling, I mean, that's some precise flying. I've seen these guys fly. We can't fly like that. I mean, I can't fly like that. Or not now, anyway. It's going to take a bit of practice, that type of flying. Okay, I'm just popping to the loot. I'll be back in uh, two minutes. Um, just uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenery as we fly over to Peru, apparently. All right, I'll be back in two minutes.
Yeah, that would be neat, Bluehead. Yeah, if I if I, I think I'm going to download DCS and uh, start off with that free aircraft that comes. Uh, looks like a Skyhawk, uh, the Russian equivalent. That doesn't look so bad. I mean, the graphics ain't bad either. So we are good, we are tracking our VOR very well, actually. A little bit to the right, so we, yeah, a little bit to the right. Make sure to get the standalone, otherwise, what do you mean the standalone? What's the other version? The one straight from their website, correct? Let me have a look. Uh, DCS, DCS, DCS. Oh yeah, I don't have Steam. I don't do Steam. So there you go. So. So that's already so the f22 is already downloaded um so what are we doing so free to play program try out each and every one of our products for 14 days per product during a six month period wow you can play each module sequentially or any number of them at a time the choice is yours I mean, that's not bad. That is just not bad. That's incredible. And then 50% discount on the first order. And then download is DCS World. And which one? That one there, is it? Open Beta. That one there. Yeah, I'll do that. I think I'm going to install it. But yeah, not bad. And then the products. Claims. I mean, uh, this is what I want, is the... Um, hold on, where's the others? No, next page. I think the Tomcat is not a bad looking plane. The Hornet, that's the one I want to do with the aircraft carrier I mean that is just so nice that is just so nice I mean I saw the video of the aircraft carrier um, operations it was incredible it was just so so realistic It comes with, um, it comes with, so you can go here, these are texture templates, but it comes with, uh, I can't remember the name of the aircraft, maybe it's the Yak. Uh, home. Wait a second, let's have a look at that again. That comes with... Uh, the SU-25T, that one there, yeah. That comes with that aircraft already in the, uh, in the sim.
But it comes with that in the in the DCS as standard as free. So yeah, I I did fly this one. It was actually quite cool to fly it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do this um, the open world beta and uh, mess around with some of these products. How much are these planes though? Let's have a look. What's the cost of the F-18? F-18 by how much? $79, 50% off. Not bad. Steam incompatible. Who cares? I don't care. And then the trial. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Test one aircraft for two weeks, then another for two weeks, or maybe download a new terrain at the same time, whatever you fancy. So once six months has gone by, take it up for another two weeks. Wow. What's that? That's one terabyte, right? Yeah. <coughs> no. That's one gigabyte. Yeah, I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to give it a go. The frog foot doesn't have any clickable cockpit, but it's still a cool airframe. Yeah, it is. What's the uh, what's the easiest payware aircraft to learn? What's the easiest? F-16, maybe? The Viper. Can I just go past that? The F-16, yeah. Look at it, though. It's just so... It's so lovely. The detail is superb. Does it have uh, the Hawk? I have the Hawk already in um, in um, in Microsoft Flight Sim. Yeah, I will let you know when I uh, download uh, DCS. And then we'll do a stream of me trying to figure it all out. <laughs> I'll get the I'll get the boat or the aircraft carrier and the F-18. That's what I'm going to try. Very steep learning curve. Very steep learning curve. You can uh, join my um, Discord. Uh, let's see my Discord. So I think you're already in my Discord, are you not? Blue here. Blue, yeah, you're there. You're there already, yeah. So yeah, I do. I'll send you a message. Yeah, of course. So I've got your pictures there. So yeah. Oh, there's one he's already taken. D 
DCS, yes. There's a uh, blue head, and there I am. What's the what's the uh, yeah? There, there we go. Lovely, lovely. Come on, guys, put some music in there now. Otherwise, I have to. I'm getting a bit fed up with all this uh, Latin music now. <laughs> Let's see, what have we got here? Let's go a bit of um, wow, really? Uh, it's also Latin music, isn't it? <laughs> what is that? I don't think that goes in the queue. Yeah, it does. It still says, just go ex exclamation discord, or I will just uh, go here. Hold on a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, wait a second. Uh, there. Copy. Um, there. No, no, no. That's going to expire. That's expired, I think. Let me just change that. Uh, there. There, there. Okay, you can do it again, and I'll give you the Discord. There you go, I see you've come in. The F-18 Hornet is a jack of all trades. Do you know how to fly it though? I oh, mean for DCS. Bluehead, do you know how to fly the F-18? Because I'm going to, I tend to agree with Spider. I'm going to fly the F-18. I, I, I think it's a bloody gorgeous looking plane. <laughs> or the Tornado. The Panavia Tornado. What a classic. You can't do any YouTube stuff, mate. It doesn't know what that is. It has no idea what that is. No videos allowed, on, no YouTube stuff, unfortunately, or fortunately. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you sorted it out. Perfect. What was the problem? You sorted it out with my help. Man, the students become the teacher, eh? Okay, 33 nautical miles to the next uh, VOR. We are a little bit out of the track there. Let's get back on the track. There we are. Oh, yeah, you switched it off and on again. Okay. There we are. Okay, good. And the next VOR is... One one three decimal one. One one three decimal one. One one three decimal one. But well, that's a bit of a way away. It's a hundred and fifty nautical mile. Um, oh, we should be all right. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, we're just going to fly in the direction heading of three nautical miles and we will be in Colombia this is Peru at the moment there's blue head angle of attack is sorted out now must be flying with full flaps down <laughs> We actually have a good friend of ours in the community, in chat, who comes in now and then. He's a, he's a Typhoon pilot in real life for the RAF. And uh, he comes in now and then, and such an interesting bloke to chat with. We like this. Okay, 17 and a half nautical miles till we are in Colombia again.
Did you ever do a long enough flight to have to play with switching tanks? No, I mean, literally, this is the first time I've flown the cargo plane um, in over a year. In over a year. Three, five, six. There we go. Elemental forces. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome aboard. We're on our way to Cartagena. Um in Colombia, we're currently in Peru. We are we are 16 six uh, nautical miles from the Colombian border. We took off from Colombia, flew into Peru, and uh, we're now heading back north to the Colombian border. And there we go. So. Uh, he was stowed away in one of the boxes. No, we're not people smuggling, mate. <laughs> are you are, are in the landing gear over here, were you? Okay, let's... Uh, Fly to three. We're going to go and just go a little bit to the left, to the right here. And uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. And what is it? It's 113 decimal one. 113 decimal one. There he goes. Blue hair! Oh, that's a real Top Gun manoeuvre, that is. He's run out of fuel, I reckon. Oh, we got a bit of a thunder and lightning. Iceberg, hello sir, how are you? How are you? So we are now in Colombia, we're back in Colombia. So just for reference, we took off from the south of Colombia, right there in Letesia. And uh, we are now, and then we flew into Peru, and now we're back in the Colombian airspace. We crossed the border just there. And we are heading towards our next waypoint, which is Ibag. I'm sure that's how you, you don't pronounce it, but yeah, Ibag. Ibag. Uh, and then on our way to Cartagena. Over Bogota, Medellin, Sinaloa. Is that, no, that's not Sinaloa, sorry. That is sin 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 sincelejo. I'm not gonna hurt myself there. And there's Cartagena. 
And we're coming in actually on runway zero one. I am good. I am good. I am well. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> Let's have a look at our fuel. Fuel is good still. We're okay. We are a fully loaded flight today, cargo flight. We do a little bit of a, F, uh, ATC chatter, shall we? Let's add a bit more immersion. There we are. Okay. And let's go South America. Nearest facilities. Ooh. That is Above the Clouds by Dan Brown. Oh, Hal Brooks. Yeah, I don't know what that is then. It probably doesn't find it. Just have a look and see if that's exactly the one that is supposed to be the one and then copy and paste it. Okay, so let's do this. Um, add an application there. And let's see. FS Chatter and uh, okay let's see and go okay and does that find it and there okay now tell me do you hear this um Is it very loud or? Okay, good. Let's see if I can find that one for you. Uh, what was that? Let's see. No. No, there is no. Uh, let's go above. I can hear. 
I can hear Blue Head is back. Above the clouds. No, I don't know which one you're thinking about. Um, Iceberg? And there we have, he's refueled. Out of range, let's, uh, let's go and see that one there. Okay. Who put this? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Matt. So there we are, heading out towards uh, Bogota. Chewy, hello. Yeah, the cargo version now, Aerosol. I'm loving the DC-6, I am. I'm seriously loving it. And we do have an escort again. Oh, we've got another DC-6 there. Is that a DC-6? Who's that? That's Leo. Ah, yeah, he was in the, in, in the chat. There's Leo there. What is he fighting? A DC-6. Yes. Pull up the side of me, Leo. Pull up the side of me. Okay, so this is it. This is what we're going to do. I want... DC-6, F-22, DC-6. Here comes Leo. I'm at 15,000 feet, a heading of three degrees. And next, next flight, I will have the F-22 installed. Where's Leo gone? I love this song. Where's Leo? Can't find him. Let's check. Where is Leo? Portal. No. There's blue hair.
Right, where's Leo? Leo, 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 Leo. Oh, there he is! What's he flying? Let's have a look. There he is. <clears throat> We're over here somewhere, are we not? Oh, there we are. Yeah, yeah, he's nearly there. There you go, blue head. Your responsibility has just increased. Two DC sixes you got to escort. We wait for him to catch up. So uh, let's just go to a little bit, shall we, to the right? <laughs> yes, I think that's enough. Uh, uh, so I think that's a bit of overkill, mate. I mean, what kind of planes are you going to see flying over Colombia? There he is, Leo's catching up. You can get closer, Leo, don't be shy.
You need to bank to the right, Leo. Bank to the right. Here he comes. I reckon if I install the pre F22, I should see the F22 of Blue Head. Um, the free one is available on FlightSim.to from Top Mac Studios. As long as I've got the model, it should work. Yeah, yeah, we've got miles and miles to go. 500 to be exact. <laughs> it's a beautiful plane, dude. I mean, I'm telling you, this DC-6, it's just unbelievable. I think what we should do is maybe Bluehead's got the DC-6. Next time we do a group flight with uh, as many DC-6s as we can get up in the air. I'll put it on Discord, and who's got a DC-6 can jump in, man. It'll be awesome. Maybe I'll get my own, i get a livery made. Gadget, uh, gadget FPV livery, like my other liveries. And, um, yeah, that would be so cool. It is fast becoming a very nice plane for me as well. After Spider, just uh, made note to some of the bugs that I expect from the cargo version. Um, yeah, it's become uh, uh, it's become a beautiful plane to fly. And. There he goes, doing the Cobra! <laughs> oh, look at that climb! Really? I think that's the Y button. <laughs> Listen to this, you two, you two. The DC-6 is coming up, parallel to myself. Oh. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> there we go, blue hair's bringing him in, bringing him in, guide him in, blue hair. Uh, we still don't have the VOR yet, but we're heading in the right direction based on the uh, chart, so we're okay.
Who is nearly here? Majestic, majestic. Three? What three? Who else is here? What's he in? Spider, what are you in? Why am I not seeing it as a DC-6 yet? I don't see what aircraft he's in. I just see his altitude there. Delivery. Why don't I see it? Is that a... That's very strange that I don't see it as a DC-6. It looks like... I, th I don't think I have the Pan Am livery. I mean, I have the PMDG livery, of course, but... Yeah, I think if you don't have a livery that I have, then it comes up with something else. Get closer, Leo, get closer. Bank right, bank right. Yeah, right. loads, loads of pharmaceuticals on their way to Carta Cartagena. <laughs> to be fair, I thought Cartagena was in North Africa. <laughs> oh, look at this now. Leo, brilliant. Now, increase speed. on the uh, F-22 is just it's just mad Okay, we still don't have the VOR yet. Uh, the VOR is 150 nautical mile range on this, uh, the next uh, VOR, but we are programmed 113 decimal 10. That's good. And there's Leo over there. Coca-Cola. Are you talking about Coca-Cola, uh, Omar Shaggy? Yes, we do have a contract with Coca-Cola, the bottling firm. <laughs> what? 5-0, Man United. Oh, dear. Liverpool 5, Man U 0. Grumpy Gordo, where are you? Grumpy Gordo, you are losing. <laughs> oh, wait till Grumpy turns up. I'm going to really take the piss. Oh, look at that. That is a stunning, stunning view. 
Yeah, right. They're going to do five in 15 minutes, are they? Six in 15 minutes. Bankright, Bankright, Leo, Bankright. Still a bit of weight. And that's it, Colombia. Look at that. Look at it. It's just beautiful. We should be just skimming. We've got a safe altitude of 12,500 feet. We're going to be skimming the top there. And we are going to be heading to some thunder, I reckon. There's Leo over there. And we've got the uh, BOR that's come up and we're right on track. We can see that there. So we're 138 nautical miles and we are right on track. The Lancaster Bomber. I'm holding steady at 15,000 feet, um, Leo. Have we got the third one in? We're spied up. Okay, look at that there. Oof. Oh, there's Spider over there. There's Spider in front. DC6, another one's coming to join us. We'll keep an eye on him.
Where is he taken off from? He must be taken off from... I don't know where he's taken off from. Uh, you press Y and then F4. You press Y and then F4. And then press Enter. When Or press Y again when you finish. Sorry. So Y, F4 and then Y. And we should see that number go up dramatically. There we go. <laughs> there is Spider. Woohoo! There he is. He's past us. There's Leo and there's Spider coming round. Oh, look at that beauty. Let's get that. Let's get Spider on camera. There he goes. There's Spider. There's Leo and here comes Spider coming around. And there's Spider. Look at him. It's a beautiful song, this is. Six nil! Oh, I really got to take the Mickey out of... Uh, um, Grumpy Gordo. Oh dear! Oh, there's Mogpot as well. Uh, let me do that as well. I'm going to send him a message. There we go, look at that! How nice is that? Should use a blue head as a sheepdog, you know? Heard in the DC-3s! <laughs> How nice is this?
absolutely gorgeous, eh? And we are good on the needle, 104 nautical miles to the next waypoint. We can wave at Spider right there. <laughs> there, wave at Spider. They are majestic, aren't they? They are majestic. Seven nil, no way. Liverpool seven, Man United nil. I love it when model matching works. Okay, I don't have the F22, but I will have it. But when model matching works, it's just going to be. Uh, right now, I'm on multiplayer. I'm on multiplayer. I do play on. I do fly on VATSIM. Um, but um, yeah, so you go here, server. There we are. And I am on, in Colombia. In Colombia. So we got three DC sixes. There's Leo somewhere. Where's Leo? Yeah, I'm on Microsoft Flight Sim, yes. Where's Leo? There's Leo. Leo, get into the circle, mate. Get in. Hug. Come on. Bankright. Bankright. Uh, next town is so the nearest airport uh, I would guess is the uh, Sierra Kilo Charlie Lima Sierra Kilo Charlie Lima but you could use the slew the Y button so Y F4 and then Y. That will give you the slew. 
And here comes Modpot in a 350. Alrighty, here we go. Spider's gone down there. Okay, we're still good on our uh, track. 78 nautical miles to the next waypoint. The next waypoint is after. So that's already set up. And then we've got the next VOR, which is 1130. So one one three zero. There we go. I do not have the super constellation. No. I've got the DC six. The DC three, I guess, comes as the default aircraft in um, Microsoft Flight Sim. all over there okay I'm coming to you guys I'm coming to you guys Are you tuned into any? Is anyone tuned into the VORs? So you should be tuned into 113 decimal one, and you'll be able to then use the needle to follow the heading. Yeah, 113 decimal one VOR.
Okay. So we are 56 nautical miles from the VOR. I'm going to now track the VOR again. There we are. And we are good. There's Leo over there. And there's Blue Head there. And there is a beautiful, beautiful picture. These lovely machines. He's in the passenger variant there. I'm flying the cargo variant. Matchbox 20, wow. Nice mod pot in the barren. I think that flies a lot quicker than us. <laughs> Beautiful. And there's Leo, there's Leo. And there's the F-22. <coughs> oh, yes.
So nice. I see one thing I want to try. I notice no one's ever. Everyone flies flies across the earth, right? I'm thinking I want to do a flight from Anchorage and just keep heading north and then see where I hit land. I might do it in a fighter jet or something because uh, it could take quite a while. But just head north, over the top, over the top, go round the back and then come out the bottom and see where we, what's the first real sort of land we hit. And I'm thinking it's the bottom of Argentina. Just by flying north. I don't know how the sim will handle that. But it could be interesting. I don't know if anyone's done it before. But I'm keen to find that out. Is the DC6 available on Xbox? I don't know. Up oh, there's Leo. Oh, with this music, it just sounds, it just looks incredible, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's there on the Xbox, is it? I'm not sure. You know, I haven't flown the DC-3 at all. Um, I know my friend, one of my friends, Dryson, he flies it a lot. I really should. Yeah, the Duckworth mod. I don't know if I've got it or not, but I'm going to... That's on FlightSim.to, correct? Duckworth mod? Is it still there? <clears throat> okay. Let's look for it. Duckworth. Duckworth. Duck works. Duck works. Yeah. Okay. Do I have that? Let's see. Not downloaded yet. Okay. Download.
There we go. Downloaded. Yeah, I don't know. I think they did put it onto the um, Xbox in the beginning, but there was too many problems, and then they just took it off, I think. There we go. Downloading the Duckworth mod for the DC3. Really? Seriously? Uh, are you already at Cartagena 2.2 uh, uh, two Mac Plus? And there we got Modbot as well in the Baron. And there's Leo over there. And we're skimming the top of these mountains. Look at that. And we should be good, actually. I'm probably a little bit off my... Uh, yeah, we're going to pass it. Okay. We'll carry on with this... Um, what's the next one? It is 113. Okay. And let's switch that one there. And we've already got it. There we are. There we go. And we are good. Yep, there it but the animals. Is it? Yep, the animals. Also, uh, lead singer of uh, the band that did Low Rider. Ooh, am I going to scrape my? Am I going to scrape my belly there? I think. <coughs> A spider and Leo there. Oh, we got an Antonov as well. Thirty-seven thousand feet. Yeah, the band war. Yeah, you can just put exclamation SR, paint it black, war. Just put paint it black, war. If you're a follower and above, you can do the song requests, no problem. Now this is a classic. Whoa, 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 let's have a look at that mountain, shall we? Oh, just got past that, there we go, that's all right. Look at this scenery.
This is a beautiful part of the world to fly over. Canucks man is here. That is Canucks man for sure. There we go. <laughs> Oh dear. We got three DC threes, a Baron and an F twenty two in the air today. Good afternoon. Canucks man, hello. Yeah, when these disgusting sounds turn up, that's always Canucks man. <laughs> There's another DC-3 there. And another one there, look at that. And then we've got a Baron around here somewhere. Look how beautiful this scenery is. I mean, this is spectacular. Oh wow, your game crashed. Oh, that's a shame. This is real nap of the earth flying, isn't it? What a song. Right, I tell you, next stream, I'm going to install the F-22 after this. I just, I feel I need to put the F-22 in just to do this justice. But we're miles away, miles away. <laughs> but yeah, you beat me to it. <laughs> I always forget to do that in my own stream. So for those who don't know, Canucksman and I have... Uh, been acquainted for like the last year and a half uh, watching another streamer and the 169 is a internal joke of ours Am I going to hit a mountain? I hope not. No, nope, not going to hit a mountain. We're okay. 
Yeah, this is old man Shaggy. He also is a great fan of uh, Eric Burden. Look at that, that's just so beautiful that is. <coughs> 61 nautical miles. Where are we currently? Let's have a look. So that's where we are. We're heading to uh, Medellin. And then we go on to the next VOR, which is uh, Cartagena, which is the airport. Uh, 112 decimal 30. So 112 decimal 30. Decimal 30. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Spider should be here. There he is. Alright, just give me two seconds. I am just going to go get a glass of water. I'll be, be, be right back.
All right. <coughs> 33 nautical miles to the next VOR. I am enjoying this flight so much. This plane is just a beauty to fly. A beauty to fly. Who have we got there? There's Leo, Spider, and our uh, escort should be somewhere around here. I don't know where he's gone up to. He's at 45,000 feet last I checked. And then we've got Mod Pot as well. In the Baron, there's Leo and Spider. And uh, where is our escort? <clears throat> oh, he's in Cartagena, sitting up there smoking some cigars, is he? <laughs> There we go, there's my uh there we go, look at that. <coughs> I make airplanes fly, what's your superpower? My son bought me that mug. There's this corn in the DC-6. So that's how many DC-6s we got. We've got four DC-6s up in the air, including myself and a Baron. And uh, an F-22 is right there. <laughs> Empty fuel. You can up. You can do it from the top bar. <laughs> In-flight refueling. blue head I promise you F-22 next time for sure because <coughs> it's an impressive looking fighter jet Oh, 
Oh, we've got an F-18 as well. I don't know if he's joining us. <coughs> Flying Lewis, he sounds very familiar to me. It's amazing how big this community is. And you just, you know, you just meet so many different pilots. I love this community. What a song. Oh, by the way, Bluehead, you need to tell me what livery you fly, because if I don't have the right livery, then you might not appear as well. Or if you download a livery from flight.to, and then I can download the same one, and uh, flight, uh, flightsim.to, I can also do the... Um, Emmendorf Elmendorf Weathered Okay I wonder if it's available there Let's have a look Okay Weathered Okay, that doesn't seem to come up. Oh, it's stock with the premium F-22, okay. <coughs> okay, next we are eight nautical miles. behind us so let's uh, switch there we go Cartagena here we come 150 nautical miles Fonsi 2003 hello sir welcome aboard thank you for the follow we are in our DC 6s today and we're flying in Colombia and we're heading to Cartagena we're almost uh, there I say that we're about an hour away uh, we got one, two, one, two. How many? Hold on a second. I think we got one, one, 
two, three, and there's four. There's a fourth one somewhere. Uh, one, two, three, four of us in DC sixes. We've got an F-22 there. We've got a Baron up there. A Baron right there, sorry. And then the F-14 is coming in, which I'm assuming is trying to catch us. Ah, Colombia, yeah, man. I've been to Colombia many, many times in real life, actually. Um, I used to do a lot of work for... I used to do a lot of work for Tigo. Tigo, Colombia. <coughs> Beautiful country and amazing, amazing people. So I was a contract for a contractor for Tigo. So I did Tigo, Colombia, Guatemala, El Salvador, all of those places. Costa Rica. Paraguay. I've done pretty much all of South America in real life. The advantages of working in telecom. I want to see this F this F eighteen, and to see if I get a model match. There's Leo. There's Spider. Where did the F eighteen go? There's uh, the Baron. Let's see if we can get Leo in this shot as well. There's Leo. Well, if it's explicit, it won't get played, um, Shaggy. And yes, we do have an F-18. Oh, that's nice. There we go. So it does look like an F-18. So I'll let you all know when we have to start descent. <coughs> and we're straight in runway zero one. Does it look like an easy approach, Bluehead? Actually, it's straight in. If we head for Cartagena, we're straight in. So, yeah, easy. Okay, I hear the uh, F-18 somewhere. Yeah, so if we carry on, so um, Cartagena, VOR, information is uh, 112 decimal 3. 112 decimal 3. And that will get you right to the Cartagena VOR, and then it's an offset approach straight into runway 01. And we do have an F 18, there he is. And the uh, dogfight going on there between an F-18 and an F-22. Who will win? I know who will win. <laughs> I 
There we go. There, flying Louie! Hello mate, welcome to the party. There we go. F-18. See, I see the F-18. That's nice. I will see the F-22 very, very soon. Where am I? Dude, where's my plane? Really? There I am. <laughs> Get it, I hoard it. <laughs> this, I mean, this plane goes slow, dude. <clears throat> and there we are. We are good. We're just waiting for that to kick in. Um... So there's 150 nautical mile range on the VOR. We'll find the right direction or the right heading. Should be about five. Yeah, we're about three, so that's okay. We're good. Shaggy, the queue is empty. Come on, drop your knowledge, mate. The queue is empty. Oh, Grumpy Gordo, I see him lurking. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry, Gordo. <laughs> So many DC-6s, this is a party. So in case no one knows, Liverpool just slaughtered Man United 7-0. Unbelievable. <clears throat> and they want to sell that for a few billion? Are they mad? <laughs> I bet that's really dropped the price of Man United now. Fly like I mean, flight dynamics is not a thing Microsoft Flight Sim is that known for. <coughs> Don't worry, I will have the um, F-22 in there for you. Don't worry. Very very soon, I'll let you know uh, what liveries I have available as well. 
let's see, Microsoft, liveries, uh, let's see, fighter jet, military, uh, F-22, let's see, F-22, there we go, and the top downloaded, most downloaded, the star screen, apparently, the premium edition star screen is the um, the livery which is uh, the most popular this one <coughs> that that is the most popular of the um, F-22 So I'll download that one You download that one And then we will see each other for sure It'll be, I mean you, I'll see you In the correct livery as well That looks nice What are the others The, the other one is The Expanse, the Mars uh, Navy. Oh, you got ads, sorry. Can't do nothing about that, I can't. But you can. <laughs> so those are the li liveries available for the... Uh, free the flightsim.to so i'm just going to download that one there so i have the star screen download that and then i have that Okay, I've downloaded that livery for the F-22 as well. <clears throat> you don't know, but my your plane is slower than our, ours. Um, are you on cruise power? Are your flaps up? Is your landing gear up? Are you in the cargo or are you in the passenger? Cargo. So, Spider said, if you go up the top there and pull this out, you might find that your CG is, um, is messed up. That's a bug in the cargo. So you should put it exactly where I have. As soon as it goes into the forward limit and the red disappears, it should be fine. Apparently that's a bug in the cargo. But check the CG as well. Just check the CG um, up there. That one there, that's from the top bar and the uh, weight and balance. Just make sure it's not red. Oh right, if you're not, if you don't have any, okay. We're still here.
So one, one, two, three, zero. <coughs> Cartagena. And Q and H at Cartagena Airport is uh, two nine nine two nine seven seven. One zero zero eight. In fact, I'm going to. I can actually set that now because transition should be uh, eighteen hundred. Yeah, eighteen thousand. So what is it? One zero zero eight. I'm going to set that now. One zero zero eight. That's nine one zero zero eight. There we are. So my Q and H is also good. There he is, he's okay. There's the F-18 right there. And there's the Baron. And blue here, it should be around here somewhere. He said he lost us. the servers didn't decide to uh, mess around today. Okay. We should be picking up. Yep, we got it. We've got the uh, VOR now. And we are just a few degrees off. So I'll just turn a little bit. There we are. And we are good. Okay. 145 nautical miles to Cartagena. We'll start our descent very, very soon. In about... Let's see, measure from here. We're in about uh, 90, 100 nautical miles, we will. Start our descent.
very nice. The scenery over here is actually really, really nice. I can't remember, did they do a world update for South America? Seriously, you still can't find us? Have you got labels and nameplates on? I mean, yeah, you, I mean, you found us before. We're still heading direct towards Cartagena. The closest waypoint. Yeah, that's interesting. Hold on. Uh, let me put them on. So the closest waypoint is uh, what's that? That is uh, Mike Lima zero zero three. Mike Lima zero zero three. That should be. Uh, Good enough. Yeah, Mike Lima 003. That is a nav aid. So we're going to start our top of descent um, when we have about 50 nautical miles left. And we'll gradually start our descent down to, um, let's see. <coughs> down to 1,600 is where we are going to catch the, uh, if anyone wants to catch the localizer, they can catch it at 1,600 feet. I'm going to fly it in manual. There he is! <laughs> Permission to buzz the DC Sixer. Permission granted. And now he's disappeared. Oh, there he is. There he is. That handles beautifully. There we are. He'll end up on my right wing soon enough. On my left wing. On my right wing. Oh, no. Maybe on my left wing because we got Louie on the other side. What's happened to this one? No, that was uh what's happening there? Okay, here comes the other F eighteen. Onto my left wing. There he is. Oh, look at that. That is such a beautiful aircraft. It's a beautiful aircraft, Bluehead. What are you talking about? Look at that. I mean, he flies jets really well. I mean, i got to hand it to you, Bluehead. You fly jets incredibly well. Okay, how far we got? We got so 50 nautical miles left at the uh, VOR. 
But when that's about 50, we're going to... <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to do DCS. I'm going to download DCS. Why not? Um, there we are. So, in another 66 Nordic miles, we will start our descent gentle down to 1600 and then line up for the approach to runway 01. Let's have a look at what the gates look like over there. Oh yeah, we're going to go to gate off the terminal and we are going to go to gate 40. No, no, we will do parking 9D. We're going to go to 9 Delta. That's where we're going to park. 9 Delta. So I will tell I will tell um, GSX that is our intention. There he is. Look at that. That is just stunning. That's a, that's a screenshot if he stays there. Screenshot happening. Come down a bit. Come down a bit. There he goes, and screenshot, bang. Okay, that is captured. There we go, lovely. Okay. Whoa, here we got another F fourteen. I wonder if the F eighteen, sorry, F eighteens, I wonder if the F eighteens can do that whole top gun maneuver where they show the finger to each other <laughs> and fly like that. <laughs> hey, that'd be cool. Uh, closer to us. Oh, you can do that in DCS. All right. I'm going to do DCS 100%. I'm going to give it a go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Get another screenshot with Escorn. If he comes a little bit closer, we can get a nice little screenshot. Can't fly faster than 200 knots. Did you check the CG? Did you check the CG? <clears throat> there, there, there. This one. And make sure that there's no red here. Yeah, make sure there's no red. It make it exactly like mine looks. That circle should be on this line. And you adjust it by moving this. Okay. No red, no payload. Okay.
You have not buy this plane. Leo, I spawn. There we go. Spied up. Good spacing so we can land without crashing into each other. I'll tell you, DJ Shaggy's in the house. Uh, lonely boy, yes it did. Yeah. Oh what, didn't it, uh, oh it didn't reply to you. Yeah, it did. Oh, that's weird, but it is, yes it is, it should reply. By uh, El Camino, no, no, the Black Keys, the Black Keys. <clears throat> okay, 82, 83 nautical miles. So we've got about uh, 30 nautical miles and we'll slowly start our descent down to 1600. Because we are quite close, so the BOR is very close to the approach of uh, Cartagena. Oh, lovely, look at it. I tell you, look at that. That F-18 just, I mean, is that top guy, is that Tom Cruise in there or what? Hey, eh? Or is it Goose? <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, whoever gets there first, I mean, um, no problem. I mean, if you get there first, then you land first. I can always circle around, no problem at all. I am easy. I mean, judging by it, it could be Icecorn who, um, Iscorn who could be landing first. No problem. Chewy! Hello, brother. Hermano, ¿qué pasa? What's going on, Chewie? Are you streaming? You want to know who Chewie Nuts is? Chewie Nuts is a dude. There we go. Spider's there. We've got ice corn over there somewhere.
But we're nearly all the way to uh, the Commodore's Easy Like Sunday Morning. Yeah, check out Chewy. If you don't check out Chewy already, Chewy is Chewy is nuts, and it's it's not the other Chewy. This is a this this is a the 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 the, the Spanish the Latin version of the Chewy. Yeah. There we go. There's Chewy. Check him out. I love the dude. Yeah, he's the unfiltered one. He's the one where his beard grows from the bottom of his chin. <laughs> you got to trim that beard, dude. You see, and do, you got to do the lines, you know? Got to do the lines. All the lines. He choked on what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the F-18. Where did Spider go? There's Leo. Ah, oh, there's Spider down there. Okay, 14 nautical miles and we'll start our descent as well. All right, Spider, you descending. Good, good. Okay. Game crashed. Oh dear. Yalla! We are heading almost into Cartagena in nine miles. We will start our descent. We got DJ Shaggy in the house, dropping all these tunes. My partner in crime. DJ Shogo spinning the decks. Okay, Cartagena, straight up ahead. Sixty-eight nautical miles to go to get to Cartagena. We'll start our descent at fifty nautical miles from the VOR. which is right there. Right there, we are bang on target there as well. We're at 15,000 feet currently. Q&H is 1008. <laughs> and 
and there we go. Let's go to descent power. There we go. Twenty six inches, right there, set. There we go, twenty six inches. Check. There we go. All right. That's right. That's what she said. And there we go. All right. We are good. Let's start our descent. There we go. Unlock the altitude and drop. We're going to go a thousand feet per minute. That should be good. And one, two more. There we are. Okay, we started our descent down into Cartagena. A bit more. Okay, descending. Look at that scenery. I mean, that is spectacular. There's spider down there at 10,000 feet, 10,500 feet. We've got our F-18 Escort. And where's Leo? There's I spawn there. Is Leo still around? Is he still with us? Okay, 14, 14, 13 and a half thousand feet, what are we, 39, 38 nautical miles, 39 nautical miles from, uh, from uh, Cartagena, Oka, Salamu Alaikum, Habibi, Kifa, wow, we've got an F-16 Escort, we've got, today we've got, uh, one more DC-6 there. We've got another DC-6 somewhere else where I don't know. I, I lost him. But we have, we've had a, a quite a few people flying with us today. Ah, oh, there's Ice Corn. Leo is gone. So we've started our descent into Cartagena. We can, let's just go two more clicks on the uh, pitch. There we are. Get down quicker, a little bit quicker. Oh, it's been good, man. We've been streaming this DC-6 flight for the length of Columbia. So this is where we've been. So uh, our flight plan took us from the southeast. Um, who's this? Hold on, my ring cam, my camera just decided to show something. Oh, I think that's my pizza, is it? Let's see. Is that the pizza? Oh, my pizza hurt. Okay, good. Wow, he looks like my son. <laughs> okay. So that was our uh, um, route. So straight 
from the south of Colombia, from Leticia, Leticia uh, into Peru, Colombia, Bogota, Medellin, and we're heading now to the coast in Cartagena. Oh, three little birds. Okay, 26 nautical miles from the VOR. We're just approaching, uh, let me do two more clicks. Tick, tick. There we go. Where's Spider? There's Spider. 7,000 feet. Uh, where's my Escort? Where is he? There we go. There we are, 9,000 feet. We're good. 22 nautical miles. You requested what? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, song. Yeah, easy. Commodores. Lionel Richie and the Commodores. Oh, that's Seek Seek Sputnik. Okay, here we go. Where are we? 7,000 feet. There's my escort. There he is. F-18. There's Spider. I hope everyone has been enjoying the stream and all that. It's been great fun. I've, I've enjoyed it immensely. 15 nautical miles. I don't think I'm going to do that, so let's just go two more clicks and let's speed up our descent. No speed, it's okay. They can't all be bangers, can they? <laughs> okay. Where are we at? 5,000 feet. Why does Fly Live always want to mess around, eh? Okay, twenty two nautical miles. Okay, let's slow it down now, shall we? In range. There we go. Two. There we go. Fuel tank 
lines on cross feed off. Hydraulic bypass valve. Down. No smoking signs. On. In range checks complete. There we are, we are good. A little bit more, there we go. Okay, we are good. Cartagena is up ahead. We are 16 nautical miles out. Okay, let's go, in range. There we go. So let's slow this down and we are heading in okay There we are. Okay, let's go in. Landing gear should be coming down right now. Yes, it is. Okay. Do we have lamps on and on, on? There we are. And there we go, we are good. That's where we want to be. 20 flaps set. Mistress Rich, wait. Auto Rich. Mistress set. Gear up and down, please. Gear up and down. Gear down and locked. Three greens. Props. 2400 RPM. RPM set. Cal flaps. Plus three degrees. Cal flaps set. ADI. Okay. ADI off. ADI is off. Barely lights. Speed good. Extending lights. Lights extended and on. Carbine. Carbine call. Set call. Before landing checks complete. One, one, one. Okay, let's just do this. So I can see that. There we are. Okay, got it. Right, where is this runway? There it is, I think. Bring it in, bring it in. All right, Bluehead, man, thanks. I'm going to, uh, for sure, we will have that uh, installed, okay, next time. Where's Cartagena? Cartagena, please. Okay, there's the runway. There it is. Okay, got it.
and we are lined up with the localizer there we can see that we're a little bit low but that's okay Let's bring the speed down a bit. There we are, we're bang on. There we go. All right. Okay. Here we are! Welcome! Cartagena! Okay! I am clear of the runway, spied up. Yeah, man, this is a beautiful aircraft. Okay, let's just uh, get GSX, GSX uh, 9. And we are going to... Oh, really? Uh, ramp. There we go. No. Avianca. Must be over here somewhere. Where is that? Let's have a look. Which one? None of them. Is it that one there? No. Eight. Wait a second. Let me show me this spot. Uh, show me this spot. It's behind me. Really? Okay. So, I guess I have to disable the, uh, the GSX gates for this airport. So, let's get back around there. Leo! Okay. Let's go in there. 
After that, checks complete. There's Leo. Here we go, parking brakes. Set. Parking brake is set. Cut entrance. Okay. Here we got Iscon, Leo. Let's zoom out. Let's get everyone in the shot, eh? There we go. Spider, uh, ice gone. Come on, get in there in the between, um, in that one there at the top. Yeah, man. DC sixes, baby. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. And there we go. Oh, Leo, Leo, Leo. It's too close. There we go. Okay, got ya. There we go. Copy. And on the Discord, we put the screenshot. Bang, click, click. Awesome. Brilliant. It's so cool, man. So cool. I mean, I'm telling you, Dryson, if, I don't know if you have the DC-6, but I'm falling in love with this thing again. It is so, so nice. It is so, so nice. Let's uh, get GSX to do its thing, shall we? There. Okay. There. There. And let's bring it out. There we go. And let's request deboarding, shall we? Oh, this is uh, actually not so nice. Let's uh, just do that again. Do that. And go back in again. Gently. There we are. Okay. There we are. And request the GSX to do its stuff. Request deboarding. Deboarding requested. There they go. Start pulling out everything. That's it. Wow, that was awesome. Thank you, everyone, for flying today, man. Look at that, Spider. I saw your uh, request. I will accept that. Um, uh, once I uh, do that, uh, let's do both. There we go. Oh, I love this plane. I love it. Oh, they all just joined in my stream. I mean, uh, I decided to fly the um, DC-6 again. And they just all jumped into the stream and uh, got Spider, Leo, uh, Icecorn, and Bluehead was escorting me in the fighter jet. And then we had also uh, Pilot Louie in an F-18 as well. And we had Mogbot as well in a Baron. So that was awesome, awesome, awesome. So, wow, um, that is it for me today. Thank you, everyone, for all the follows. Fonzie, Icecorn, Elemental Force, Spider Steve, Aviator, thank you for the raid, five... A party of five leo for the follow uh coomzy for the follow um vapor blast for the follow as well everyone in the and blair uh, yeah and everyone in the chat walker shaggy for dealing with the music thank you shaggy um awesome dude dryson welcome thank you for popping in i know you've been lurking so for ages um yeah brilliant um, 
Canucks man who came in earlier. Thank you. And uh, everyone else, Chewy, Hermano, gracias. Thank you. Um, Icebird, as always, thank you. Icebird is a legend. He thought taught me to fly the A310 properly. So lovely. Um, everyone else in the chat, sorry if I haven't mentioned you, but thank you, everybody. Awesome. I will catch you all on the next uh, stream very, very soon. Um, probably tomorrow. Maybe another... Another... Um, another... Um, DC-6. I mean, maybe the passenger version next as well. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Or maybe the DC-3. I haven't done that for... I have not done that at all. So the DC-3 could be interesting. But uh, let me see tomorrow what my day is going to be like because it is beginning of the week and uh, things can, um, the day can run away from me. In the meantime, thank you everybody. Uh, let's see who's on, who's on, who's on, who's going to raid. Let's raid. Let's raid Vex, yeah. We're going to raid Vex. Um, stick around, Vex is awesome. Um, solid, solid bloke. Um flies uh, GA quite a bit so we are going to go and raid uh, Vet Freeze is he live? he is live yeah ok channel preview let me just see yeah he is ok we're going to start the raid um, stick around and uh, give, show him some love in the meantime I will catch you all thank you everyone for flying with me thank you thank you thank you and uh Take care. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Peace. And uh, I will catch you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.